that farm equipment keeps getting bigger and the systems that help apply fertilizer and other treatments into the soil has to handle all that volume. Here's another look at precision agriculture. Strip tilling is becoming very popular and there's a lot of technology that goes into this, especially applying nitrogen, that kind of thing. AgExcel has some answers for a lot of you farmers out there. And you know, the, it's big equipment. This, we're talking about big stuff, but strip till is becoming popular, right? It's becoming a very popular practice. Um, the results, the test, all the testings that have been done have proven that it works. Mm -hmm. And because of that, there's a greater demand for systems that can handle that kind of volume. It could be anywhere from 15, 20, 80 gallons to the acre that they're trying to apply micronutrients down in the soil. And so they're, ha they're looking for systems that can basically handle that kind of volume. Mm -hmm. And at, here at AgExcel, we design hydraulic systems, four different size hydraulic systems that allow them to put that type of volume. So if they come in and asking for something that'll put a range of 15 to 30, we have a size for that because we don't want to get a system that's too big for what they're trying to accomplish. Right. Or if they're going from 50 to 80 gallons to the acre, we have a size that fits that as well. And so we work closely with the manufacturers to ensure that these systems mount correctly, install correctly on their implement mm -hmm. to put that kind of volume down. So explain exactly how this, this works. And sure. This is here. Yeah, this is basically a diaphragm pump. It's a positive displacement pump. So basically for every stroke, it puts, pulls the same type of volume. And, it, and we build this complete system here so that when we ship it to the customer, it looks just like this, ready to go. They don't have to worry about it putting anything together or okay. learning anything. Yeah. It, has, it has a proprietary AgExcel PWM control valve, and this is what basically controls the system. So when the farmer speeds up with his strip till machine or slows down, this will speed up and slow down to also speed up and slow down the pump. Or if they're doing any kind of variable rate application, prescription-based mm -hmm. applications where they're putting certain volumes of liquid in certain areas of the field, that's, this will keep up with that as well. So it's a very high volume system, it's, it works really efficient, it's very responsive, and gives them the rate that they need at the right time. And it's, it's sturdy, right? It's not like it's going to break down in, you know, a week? <laughs> that's right. It has to be sturdy for, for the ag space. And, mm -hmm. and that's the nice thing about it is that it, it, not only is it heavy duty, heavy built, but it's very low maintenance. It's a very low maintenance system. We've been building this system for about five years now. It has a, it has a very simple setup. It works seamlessly with their existing controller. So if they have a, a John Deere controller, Ag Leader, Trimble, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Their system can control this. So we build all the harnesses and the solution to be able to integrate into that so that they can control it from their current system. And, and in that kind of strip till situation, it's important to be able, as you, we talked earlier, to get that into the soil rather than like through irrigation or something like that. This is the answer, right? This is the answer. A lot, of, a lot more direct soil applications so that when they're strip tilling, the, so, the liquid's getting down where it needs to be so that when they come back at planting season, the plant's growing right above those nutrients, starts to grow, grabs mm -hmm. the nutrients, and gives them what they need rather than uh, through fumigation. All right. mm -hmm. If you have questions about this, remember you can always go to our website, nebraska.tv, and contact AgExcel here in Kearney. That's all we have for you. Thank you so much for joining us here on the show, and we hope to see you again next week. Have a great day.